Again, everybody, it's Harry Boxer, Technical Trader, and it's Wednesday, the 20th of August. This is the chart of the day. Today's chart of the day is the current portfolio holding in a stock I've liked for many, many months and traded several times and had it in our portfolio a few times, but I think it's getting ready for another move here. Uh, Canadian Solar, CSIQ, had a significant day technically in my mind in that um, the mini base pattern that I was forming over the last uh, couple months here um, basically uh, was taken out uh, with a strong thrust today, up 420 on 6.3 million shares. Now, it closed right on its 40-day moving air, yeah. declining 40-day, so that could act as some resistance. But if we do get a follow-through, and I think we will, I think you're going to see this up towards the uh, 30, 4.5, 5 zone, and then after, after that, a test of the July high is up around 39. So um, there's a stock that could see another 6 or 7 points over the next few sessions, and one that I'll, I'll probably be attempting to day trade as well. Uh, there's always the possibility to get a, a, f a failure right here and the stock pulls back, but I think you'll get a move up higher before that does occur. And in any case, um, uh, let's look at the intraday chart, and you'll see that um, stock started out today with a little gap up in the, at the get-go, um, pulled back and retested the gap successfully, as well as the moving average intraday, and then made it up to about 29.40 in the morning. Then about an hour and a half to two hour flag type consolidation set in stock and ended with a very low volume ebb right here, very narrow, and then it started to move, moving from about the uh, 28 and a half area up to 30 and a half or 30 60 in that area. So a nice move over the 90 minute period. Another flag type formation or pullback consolidation um, then resulted in a lateral resistance at around 30. 40, 30 and a half, which was broken in the last hour. With that accelerated the stock up into the high for the day right at the close of 3180. Then on the day up uh, 420 as stated. But as you can see, this is coming off the bottom of the long term up channel and it's taken out the declining tops line uh, and lateral price resistance and closing right at declining moving average. So any further move here could really accelerate things and uh, we can get some short covering. And eventually, as you know, uh, I like this stock. Uh, a lot to move back up to test that 48 to 52 zone and eventually maybe even get up as high as the, the low to mid 60s um, over the intermediate term. So we'll see how it goes, but keep your eye on CSIQ.